All right, Sean here, Shop Task YYC. So back with another building block. And what we're gonna do is a T-push, sometimes called a scooter push. Essentially, it's gonna be one foot gliding with the other foot gently pushing us along. That foot needs to be right underneath my body. I need to be on the center or possibly a little bit on the outside edge. Most of the time I teach my students to be a little bit on the outside, but center edge would be totally acceptable. So I'm gonna balance here on my left foot. So I'm gonna set that foot down. I'm gonna line up so my knee is right over top of my toe from the side. My knee is over top of my toe. Good. Back to the straight on angle and a little bit on that outside edge. Head is up, hands are forward. Head up, hands forward, right knee is bent, good. Okay, so now I can lift up my foot and I can start to balance. Good, so I'm doing that on the spot. Let's switch feet. Okay, so plant that foot down, knee over toes, slightly on that outside edge. Head up, hands forward. Good, so now I'm gonna follow this line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plant my foot on the line, make sure my knee is over top of my toes, my head is up, hands are forward. I'm gonna open up with my other foot, making half of a V shape, and then I'm gonna Bend both knees a little bit extra. Gentle push along. And then returning my foot. The key here is just very small pushes the whole way across. I definitely don't want to be reaching out. I want to keep everything nice and tight. So my balancing on my foot, head up, hands out. Remember a little bit on that outside edge that half a V, and then very gentle push, bringing my feet back together. Good. Once you've done it with one foot, switching feet, doing the same thing. Now a couple common mistakes is not lining up my knee over top of my toe, being too much towards the inside edge. Makes this very difficult. Double check your alignment, make sure that knee's over top of your toes. If your knee comes onto the inside here and you're trying to do that push, you never really can find your balance. So very important, right? Center a little bit to the outside edge. If you can balance there on the spot, you're ready to go. Common falls, like uh, when I see people trying this, is they're feeling good, they're getting moving, they're trying to really glide on one foot, they get caught falling towards their outside edge. Usually that happens because when we start that balance, we lock up on our knee and we're riding like this. So stay low, keep that knee bent, and if you do end up tripping, you should be in a better place to save yourself with a drop stop. So here, if I start to let it go, if I'm falling, remember getting down nice and low. Hands and knees, wrist guards would be helpful, right, when we're learning, of course. If we practice that T-push, we're soon gonna be ready to apply the T-push and the lemon drop into many different skills that we're gonna start progressing through next. I think what we'll get to now is we wanna start putting a little extra power into our stride. And by combining the skills from the T-push and the lemon drop together, we will definitely improve our stride. Much more speed, much more power. Okay, thank you for watching. Namaste.